Christ, for there is no like him, and there is no one that can be compared with our Lord. We are on our 81 day, we are on 150 days of prayer, but this is day 81. We are going to continue with the book of Psalms. I'm going to read the scripture, then we can get into prayers. Psalm 81. Psalms 81. Bible says from verse 1, sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful shout to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and strike the timbrel, the pleasant harp. With the loot. Blow the trumpet at the time of the new moon, at the full moon on our solemn feast day. For this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob. This he established in Joseph as a testimony. When he went throughout the land of Egypt, where I had a language I did not understand, I removed his shoulder from the burden, his hands were freed from the basket, you called in trouble, and I delivered you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O oh my people, and I will admonish you, O oh Israel. If you will listen to me, there shall be no foreign god among you, nor shall you worship any foreign god. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. Verse 11. For my people would not heed my voice and Israel would have known of me. So I gave them over to their own stubborn hearts to walk in their own counsels. Oh, that my people will listen to me, that Israel will walk in my ways. I will soon subdue their enemies and turn their hands against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord will pretend submission to him, but their faith will endure forever. He will have fed them also with the finest of wheat and with honey from the rock. I would have satisfied you. Hallelujah. Now the psalmist was started, sorry, he started by saying that we should sing aloud unto God our strength. It simply shows that there is no strength anywhere apart from God. God is the one that offers strength. God is the one that opens you up to the portals of strength, portals of energy, and also admonishes power unto his people. Now, the psalmist said, sing aloud. Of course, there are many things that will not allow 
allow you to sing aloud. When your heart is troubled, when you have issues, probably something that gave you a sleepless night, something that has troubled your mind, something that has put you on edge, something that has made you even regret your life. Those things will not allow you to sing aloud. Hallelujah. Those things will draw away strength from you. Will take energy because you are finding or you have found yourself in a dark corner and in a slippery way that you don't even know what to do. But like I always said, you know, God is not confused like man. God knows exactly the end from the beginning. He understands. Nothing is a surprise to God. So sometimes he will allow situations that you don't know what to do to come on to you. Why? Because he wants you not to know what to do. So that you can turn unto him who knows to do all things. Hallelujah. Time. The people of Israelites, they were moving to the land of promise. The Bible says at a point the king of Egypt, Pharaoh and his armies decided to bring them back. Because they quickly realized that these are the basket of the nation. They are leaving us. We will not have any other laborers. They will not have those that will build our economy. They decided to pursue them. I said, I made a mistake. We want to bring them back. And at that point, they were also facing the Red Sea. The Red Sea in the front and the Egyptian at the back. They can't go forward, they will drown. If they go back, they will be killed. So they were confused and don't know what to do. Hallelujah. And people began to murmur, people began to complain. We have been where we are. Why did you let us come out, Moses? You deserve to die. Because you made us out from where we have mastered suffering. Now this is more dangerous than the situation that we are in. So everybody was complaining. But the Lord said, keep on moving. Hallelujah. They tried to pray. He said, don't pray to me again. He said, move. Continue moving. You have prayed enough. Hallelujah. I want you to understand. He said, look at the Egyptian. Look at them very well. He said, this Egyptian you see now, you shall see them no more. They are wondering how it's going to happen. Now, in that situation, there is nothing to do. There is no thought of what to do. Anytime you come to that kind of situation, I want you to realize that we are not dealing with a man. You are dealing with a God. You are dealing with, the Bible says, is the chief of all spirits. Every spirit is subject to my God. No matter how all the satanic thoughts 
principalities and powers, powers of darkness, the rulers of this dark world, wherever they may be, they are subject to the power of God. Hallelujah. God says, continue moving. And they continue to move. As soon as they step their foot into the water, the water became a pillar and a support for them to cross. And the Egyptians all were drowned when they wanted to cross. Now, this is how God works. And that is the reason why you should Sing aloud, <laughs> irrespective of the situation, of the problem, the confusion, the devil's mandate. Of course, we cannot remove the enemy, or we cannot stop him from doing his job. The Bible says his job is to kill to steal and to destroy. But you are going to be in trouble when you stop doing your own job. Your own job is to cast him out. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resistance. And that's why we're talking about strength this morning. You need strength to resist the enemy. You need power. You need energy in your soul. And the only way this thing comes, the energy comes by allowing joy to take over your soul. Knowing that God got your back. God is with you. God is with you. When God is with you, the devil has no right to tamper with your destiny. But when you forget God, then there will be trouble. Sing aloud. Make a joyful shout. Raise a song. The pleasant harp on the lute. Blow the trumpet at the time of new moon, at the full moon, at a solemn feast. This is a statute for Israel. Hallelujah. It's a law God has placed for you to rejoice. He said, sing. Sing aloud. This is the only way to bring the enemy down. By allowing yourself to operate in the same level of faith, irrespective of the condition. Now, let me tell you, evil happens to both righteous and wicked man. Sometimes you find yourself in a mess, you find yourself in a very terrible situation. You never bargained for. Hallelujah. It's not because you are the most wicked. Or maybe you are the most righteous. It happens just like the rain falls on the righteous and also falls on the wicked. But there is a situation here. When you find yourself behaving or having the same attitude as a wicked man, there's a difference. The Bible said there is no peace for the wicked. It never said there is no money. So money can be everywhere, but peace is lacking. It's only for those who know their God. And I want you to understand this. Don't allow the enemy to take away your peace. Don't allow the enemy to snatch your joy from you. No matter the condition you find yourself, keep on trusting the Lord. Keep on singing the praises to God. Because that is the miracle. People will look at you and think, oh, you are dying. You are, in fact, you are finished. 
Hallelujah. But God will say you are just about to start. It is the word of God that supersedes every other word. There is no other word anywhere apart from the word of God. When God speaks, no man can stop it. Praise the Lord. So, it's a law that is being demanded this morning that you release your heart. Release your heart. There's somebody on this prayer line, about two people, that God is saying, release your heart. He said, the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. You see, that trouble that is in your house, and you're wondering, what am I going to do? What is going to happen to me at the end? What is happening to my children? What's happening to them? What type of confusion is this? And your man is telling you, oh, your enemy is striking, is using voodoo, is striking you, is doing a lot of things. Let me tell you, there is no power that can challenge the power of God. The power of God. The power of God. I, I want you to understand. I want you to understand that there is nothing impossible with God. You know, there was a place I went to work one day. And I found a job there. And people were coming to me and they said, listen, this boss is a wicked boss. It's horrible. How did you end up here? Nobody works with this person and go free. He's a mean person. He's a wicked person. Hallelujah. I said, yes, I know. But when the Lord is with you, everything works. The Bible says, when your way pleases God, He will make even your enemies to be at peace with you. Hallelujah. And that is the principle. And it wasn't after two weeks, the same wicked boss bought me a car. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said to me, enter the car. I entered the car. We drove to a place. He said, do you like this car? I said, yes. Why are you asking, boss? It's okay. Drive it out. I drove out. She paid. He said, you can do whatever you want to do with it. I want you to know. When I was moving, I said, is it not the same person that is wicked? I want you to understand that there is nothing impossible with God. Nothing. Practically nothing. I want you to believe it and I want you to know that I'm not, I'm not speaking because I only read the scripture. I'm speaking because I know. I've tested it. I've witnessed it. I've experienced it. It happening to me every day. God is the only one that owns the earth. The Bible says in Psalms 24, the earth and its fullness is the Lord's. It belongs to God. So when you find yourself in a very precarious situation, a very horrible corner, don't give up. Hallelujah. Don't quit. Don't say, oh, I'm dead now. Don't use your mouth and kill yourself. The power of death and life is in your mouth. That's the gate of life right there. And also the gate of death. You can speak your death. You can also speak your life. And this morning, I want you to have the attitude of gratitude. Remove every problem. Put it by the side. Hallelujah. <laughs> Put it by the side. The Bible says, we are all in trouble. If you read 
John chapter 14 verse 7. It's a man born of a woman is full of trouble. Full of trouble. And with a few days. So it means that you have few days to complete a big trouble. Which can never happen. So people left trouble and still die and trouble still remains. So you're not the only one. But there is another part which says those that are born of God overcome the world. John 5 5. First John verse 5. First John 5 4 and 5. There is those or there are those who are born of a woman. We are born of a woman. But you need to upgrade to those who are born of God. That's why you're born again. That's why you're Christian. He says they overcome the world. They overcome the world. So your own portion is to bring the world under your feet. The world situation will not be determinant of your life. The world does not run your life. Because your life is hidden and operates from a source that can never finish. Hallelujah. A source that can never stop is the fountain of life. Fountain of life. That life does not finish. I want you to understand that so that you will build yourself in trusting God. In trusting God. There's somebody on this prayer line who cried all through last night. You cried all through. In fact, you cried yourself to sleep. But the Lord is saying, wipe your tears because I have come to take care of that situation. God himself has, has saw the Lord stretching out his hand to help you. He said, do not cry anymore because I have come to help you. Hallelujah. So I want you to understand that God is the one that decides who lives and who dies. So not because you have that situation will end your life. No. There's hope. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. Lift up your hands as we begin to pray. Lift up your hands. And just give God the glory. Give God the praise. We give you thanks, Lord. We give you glory and praise. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Mali Karabo Esim Patano. Rally Losigana Toraba Yam Setoda Sikaima. We give God the glory. We give God the praise. In an abasande libo. Yeri Baba Karimo Sanda libo. Brave lo trame sangli riambo talaba. Oh Santita Tilaka. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you, Father. Be thou exalted, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray and demand strength. Ask God to strengthen you. Ask God to strengthen you. In the name of Jesus, demand that the strength that comes from the joy of the Lord will become your portion this morning. The Bible 
Bible said that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Let the strength that comes from the joy of the Lord become our portion this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. The strength. Let me regain strength. Let my let my soul regain, regain strength. Let my spirit regain strength. The strength that comes from joy. Let my body regain strength. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this strength become a portion this morning. Let this strength become a portion. The portion of our families. Let us be clothed with strength from God. Garuma Seblanto Mari Masaka. Rida Lobre Nebebon de Salabo Kondri Mania. Riba Baba Santo Bale Pranagalos. Riba Santo Vele Bania. Robo Secta Balikaba. Man Solobos. Riba Baba Baba Castelebos. Riba Baba Sibrana Betole Babas. Lebrana Betonda Leba Casa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're going to pray. We're going to ask every hand that is attacking my destiny. Attacking the destiny of my children. Every powers that have risen to attack the destiny of my children, of my life. Let the fire of God destroy them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to decree Holy Ghost five, seven times and the blood of Jesus seven times. And they're going to begin to pray. Let the fire fall and begin to burn to ashes. Every power, every hand that has stretched against the destiny of my life. My destiny, the destiny of my family, and the destiny of my children. I want you to open your mouth right now and begin to pray that prayer. Decree and pray. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Do not keep silence, O God. Every power, every hand that have stretched forth against the destinies of my children, the destinies of my life, the family's destiny, I release the fire right now. I release the fire. I release the fire. I burn them to ashes. They can no longer operate. I burn them to ashes. Wherever they are operating from, I uproot them from their root and I release the fire. 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 Moshe Branta Labago Seliba. Rima Masanto Balubante Kete Kelebo. Rima Bosco Veli Branto Romosa Kinga Basalibo. Lord, we release the fire this morning. Masente Balanto Ma Infeli Branto Loboco Sinta Seliba. What is the fire? 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 Moshe Laburi Masaka. Je Poli Bani Batona Bogosari Makata. In the name of Jesus, every hand stretched to destroy our destiny, to destroy our destiny, to distort the destiny of our children. Lord, we set them on fire this morning. We set them on fire. We set them on fire. Most of the diabolos. We set them on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray. In verse 14 it said, I will soon subdue their enemy and turn my hand against their adversary. The haters of the Lord will pretend submission to him, but their faith will endure forever. We are going to release the hand of God. Upon our adversaries, all those who have set up adversaries, who have set up as adversaries, and people that destroy family, that destroy families. You know, the Bible said, "We're 
men slept, the enemy came and saw stars, saw stars, so that those stars will grow and choke the leaves and destroy lives. I want us to uproot every adversary, every setup of the enemy, every wicked spirit that have set up to destroy families. I want you to pray. Please pray. There is somebody, God is asking you to pray this prayer because it's going to help even your children. You are going to open your mouth and you are going to pray against every adversary, against every adversary, against the enemies that have set forth targeting your children, targeting your children, targeting your family. We're going to release fire on them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be clear on the God's fire seven times, the blood of Jesus seven times. I'm going to begin to pray that all the adversaries and the enemies set up against your children, coming against the family, will be totally destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be clear and pray, Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost Fire, Jesus mighty name, the blood of Jesus Christ, 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 the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God arise, let your enemies be scattered. Do not keep silent for God. Mafeli Kabori Masakai, Rima Sando Balinta Mary Makusai. Lord, every adversary, every enemy set up against our families, set up against our lives, set up to destroy our lives. Ha, ha. We release the fire right now. We release the fire. We release the fire. Let it burn, mighty God. Search them out wherever they may be, in every nook and cranny, in every dark and slippery places of this world. Find them out, O oh God. Let the fire burn. Zima limbro no mosenda bakatiki baka. Zolaba nia ambro moset bale. Gila bobos king brega de libacasa. Riba basato breke telebos. Ribro cotolobos. Masco brente libo casiba casida. Infenebos cabrano matanda libacasa. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mali Vatiabo. Bom Pranekebo Saka. Zima Lambro no Kotelebo. In the name of Jesus. Alma Saliba Consciant. Available to Sebranta Levacosa. Yes, Lord. Release the fire. Release the fire. Release the fire. Release the fire. In the name of Jesus. They shall not stand. They shall not stand. So they shall be broken into pieces. Yes, Lord. Born them to ashes in the name of Jesus. Vesa kaba saliba katiaba. Bon salibra nagadosa. Veluma sante baiba. In the name of Jesus. We're going to pray. Every foreign God that is attacking our families. Foreign gods, foreign gods, idols, witchcraft operation. Every foreign god attacking your family that say that your family will not have peace. Let the fire burn. We are setting them on fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every roadblock in our lives that have been there for years. Ha, let the fire fall. Let the, let, 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 let the fire fall and dissolve these blockades in the name of Jesus Christ. Decree and pray. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Do not keep silence, O God. Yes, Lord. We dissolve every.
every foreign god, every foreign god, every foreign god that is attacking our foundation, the foundation of our lives, every foreign god that is attacking it, that is destroying it. Every foreign God will release the fire against you. Release the fire. 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 Master Lebo Costo Brother Lebo. Rima Matando Lebo Costeva. Rima Castro Brother Bianto Lebo Costia. Lebra Matonda Bacastel Lebo Sacam Batina. Yeruma Scaria Bacorbo. Yerima Rima 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 Sarda. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is the fire? What is the fire? What is the fire? What is the fire? Yes, Lord. Every foreign God attacking our foundation. What is the fire right now? What is the fire? Every foreign God attacking the foundation of my life. I command you right now. In Falaboski Balia. Rema Skandalova Gusia. Rema Baba Basento Baluka Bastia. Zerima Bonto Malibanta Kakari. Zurama Kafaya. What is the fire? What is the fire? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to just lift up your hands wherever you are right now. You're going to confess this prayer. Hallelujah. Every mistake that has been made in my family, every foundation that holds wrong spirits, that holds wrong spirits, <laughs> shall not affect me anymore, shall not repeat itself anymore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against you, every faulty foundation, every faulty foundation, you can no longer operate in my family, you can no longer repeat yourself in my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, release the fire right now, begin to pray. Command that every faulty foundation be totally wiped. Let those foundations be wiped away from your DNA. Let those foundations be wiped away from your blood. Let those foundations be wiped away from you. Let the Lord take charge. In the name 
of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray right now that your way will be smooth. Let the favor of God rest upon you, your family, your children, your grandchildren. Let the favor of the Lord rest upon them right now. That wherever you may go today, there will be no hitches. That God will show himself in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth right now. Begin to demand. Oh Lord, your great favor, great favor upon my family. The Bible says, favor of the Lord is better than money, better than silver and gold. Let the favor of God rest upon you today. Rest upon my family. Rest upon your family. And everyone, every children of God under this spiritual soul, let them begin to witness favor. Let them begin to witness favor. Let them begin to witness the blessing. Let them begin to witness favor. Mouse Graboli Bariga. Rima Mama 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 Mama. Favor of God. Favor of God. Upon me. Upon my children. Upon my grandchildren. Upon your husband. Upon your wife. Upon your mother. Your father. All your family members. Let them begin to witness favor. Favor of God, favor, favor, Nasiba Ribaka, Hiriba Sanga Labaka, Rapote Palikaka. There is somebody on this prayer line. There is some money coming your way as a favor of this money, as a result of this prayer. Favor has located you. Anna Sakaibo Robo, Yeriba Baba Santelebos. There is somebody on this prayer line. God is releasing that money. That money. That money. That money. You have been expecting from the other client. You have been expecting an amount of 65000 That money is being released now. I want you to just give glory to God. There is a money that is being released to you. Yes, 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 yes. It is a favor. God has decided to favor you. I want you to glorify the name of our Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. The Parato Veneta. Parato Barato. No curbo se ele granant. Masa lebaka. Ziri mamos cabalita. In the name of Jesus Christ. We raise the favor. We raise the favor. We raise the favor. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory. On. Be. On. To God. Glory. Glory and all be all to God. I want you to just lift up your hands and your voice. Just wave unto the Lord and tell Him that you love Him. Tell Him that the glory of God shall rest upon my family. Let the love of Jesus be upon my heart. Let the love of God spread abroad in my heart this morning that I will operate in full capacity of the love of God. That the love of God will take over my heart. Father, for hearing us. 
us this morning. We give you glory because you are God and there is no one like you. We worship you, O oh God, for you alone is God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want you to rest your head upon your head. Because I'm going to pray for all those that are sick. I can feel the anointing right now on my right hand, on my left hand. Let the healing power of God flow. There's somebody that has been having a very severe pain on your waist, on your leg. I want you to place your right hand there. That the pain will go away. Let the fire of God, let the healing power flow right now and touch you. Be healed in Jesus' name. And raise the healing power from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of God touch you. Vesata Burikaba. Male Brahma Vatu Bakusai. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you.